Okay, my name is Joanne Chasen. I'm here with at the Milkit for the Maryland State Fair, which is in the Cow Palace right near the birthing center. And when you get here, after you get through the, the short line, um, you have someone explain to you how to milk a cow. So you get to actually hand milk the cow. Look, I do uh -huh. it with just two fingers because okay. I've done it for such a long time. Uh -huh. So it makes it look easier than it is. Just kind of pull down. Okay. And she's about <laughs> running out of milk. Oh, See? okay. But what Grab, they do, like, higher what up. they do, this is like a big sponge. Uh-huh. And, and, it's, and it's, oh, it was wow. full of milk. Uh -huh. And as we massage her udder uh -huh. by doing this, she lets her milk come down. Uh-huh. Is, does she get sore? No. What is, it's just like yeah. us using our hands. Uh-huh. Now, this part of our hand might be real tender if yeah. we were to... But this side is tougher because we use it every day. Gotcha. Okay. Try that one. It's still got a lot of milk in it. Oh, wow. Do they, I mean, do they feel it when you do it? Is it yeah, any they do. It actually feels like we're massaging them. Okay. Now, have you, have you put your hand on her? Uh-uh. you feel how warm she is? Yeah. Her body temperature is 100.2. Okay. And we're 98.6 if we're healthy. Right. So you can feel the difference in the heat. Yeah. The milk, when it comes out, also is 100.6. Oh, really? <clears throat> so cool. it has to be cooled down within 20 minutes or so. Okay. Down to almost freezing, which is about 37, 38 degrees. Uh -huh. So back, a bacteria doesn't grow, right? And B, it's kept fresh. Okay. Because if you know, let's face it, it wouldn't. If you left a glass of milk on the table for a few hours, yeah, you, you wouldn't. You wouldn't want to drink it yeah. anymore. Yeah. So, okay. That's what we do.